What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at MotherTruckerNews at gmail.com. You know, everybody's been saying, Alex, you got to interview uh, Life with Sean. And so we're doing that today. Uh, you know, he uh, got stopped by DOT. So he asked about personal conveyance. This video went viral. You know, the number one thing is you got to look at the FMCSA.gov. And just make sure that you see the rules. I'll put the links down to that. But secondly, uh, Life with Sean says that in the last 15, 16 years, he gained 100 pounds, pretty much almost forced to quit trucking, was depressed, was everything, and he lost that weight. You know, the man looks good today. Uh, he's so positive. He's a trainer. And he just helps new truck drivers and all truck drivers alike. And so this is a guy right here that I say, look, if you need some positivity, you know, you might be new. You might need some help. Here's a person that's willing to do that. You know, I'll put links down below. But let's get into this video right here and talk a little bit about life and trucking. And Merry Christmas, y'all. It's always different, Alex. <laughs> just like you said, they interpret that law so differently. But like, I love the way you did the video where you just say the basis. If you don't, can you don't have to use it? Don't use it because, like I said, it does it depends on a you know who you get. It's a different answer. But PC is good to use if you use it right. But you better know how to use it and, and do it right because if not, they, they're going to throw some questions up. And every one of them different. Like the guy in Nebraska, we was going through Nebraska and uh, he did a DOT and I had my camera on. I said, "Look, do you mind if I ask you some questions?" Because I like to know. And we did a lot of stuff, not just about PC. We asked about. A thousand different questions, but he was saying, you know, he started talking about, I thought this was, this was funny. He said, you know, at every ramp, that's what he said. He said, every ramp, if you stop at a ramp, he said, you're going to get a ticket in Nebraska because in every exit, there's always a spot to park. And I thought, really, you're going to sit there and tell me that every exit, there's a place to park for a trucker, every exit. And you know, Alex, that's not true. So if you ran out of, if you ran out of time, and you got off the exit. Could you then PC forward to a loves as long as you came back to that same exit the next day? Wouldn't that be a legal PC? Like oh, I'm PC over here, but I'm on. start as long as you started back from where you stopped. But if you get caught on the way, you get caught on the way or whatever, you're going to be in trouble. So you better go backward. You can go backwards. Um, depend on company policy, you could go back. Okay. Um, you know, depending on that time frame. The, the best thing is just to do good trip planning. <laughs> yeah, say, you know, say like state of Nebraska, you have all these off ramps. Well, our off ramps, there's no parking on the off ramps. We've had a lot of fatality accidents. Drivers leave a lot of trash out there or something like that. Right. So we don't want people parked on the on and off ramps. Because, I mean, if you're parked there, one, because they're marked in Nebraska, if there was an accident, somebody came off and they hit your truck, you're going to be at fault because you were improperly parked. You were parked there. More than likely, you're not going to have washers on everything that's required when you're stopped. But at all these exits, especially like across Nebraska, there's a grain elevator. There's, you know, a side road and there's a place where you can pull off and park where you can legally park. It is possible at every exit to find a legal place to park. Okay. Just don't stop on that and park on the ramp. The ramps and any part of the interstate system is for emergencies only. If you're, you know, you blow a tire and you can't go any further, your motor breaks down, whatever the case is, um, then you're parked there. Immediately turn on emergency flashers. Within 10 minutes, you have to have your warning triangles placed out. Uh, but at every exit, if you're just, oh, I misjudged, you may not have facilities to go to the bathroom, get food, stuff like that, but there's going to be a place to park. Well, you know, I... I started the channel because, uh, you know, I I gained 100 pounds driving the truck and I almost gave up driving a truck. My blood pressure is high. My diabetes was high. And I was like, there's no way I can do this driving a truck. But I realized that you could. And that's what I want to share. I've lost 60 pounds last year. My doctor said my A1C, not for me with A1C, but A1C is when you check your sugar. Mine was a 13, which anything above 10 is insulin level. Anything below five is non-diabetic. And I went and checked my sugar last um my last check, I'm a 5'2". It's almost non-diabetic, blood pressure nice. perfect. I did all that driving a truck, not not being at home, over the road, without a yeah, train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like I mean, so but we're, I mean, I think that's the best way to start this yeah. intro, you know? So, yeah. 
you know, however you want to start it. However you want to start it. You just tell me how you want me to lead out. But oh, hey, we're we're already freestyling into it. So I mean, let's let's get it. So okay. uh, you know, trucking life with Sean. I mean, right? Um, uh, just like you just stated, a hundred pounds, right? And now, for people that are out there, you know, a lot of people would say. Uh, Eating on the road is unhealthy. Yeah. You know, trucking's what can get you obese. I'm not a light guy myself. Right. You know, and it's just it people, I don't want to say the word make the excuse that they can't be healthy. Right. But definitely we will say that sometimes it's easier to take the fast well, route, the, right? The statistics, the statistics I can tell you, truck drivers, you know, I looked it up 69% of drive truck drivers become obese. Versus 31%. If you look it up, a regular job, you've got a 31% chance. Driving a truck, you've got a 69% chance. But so what is the reason of that? You know, like the, the age of living is 61 as a truck driver, age expected life, versus 77 at a normal job. Uh, blood pressure, 45% of uh, truck drivers have high blood pressure. But your question is, why is that? And I think it's the mentality that, that we wasn't trained when we go in the truck in. A lot of videos are about, you know, how to drive over a mountain, which is good. You know, how to drive in the snow, which is good. But they don't talk about the mental health part of it, about missing home, about being away from your wife, your children. And we have a high turnover rate because truck drivers are not prepared for that. They're not prepared to gain 100 pounds and become a diabetic. You know what I mean? I wasn't. Nobody taught me. So wow. that's the reason, I, that's the reason <laughs> I started my channel so I could help yeah. other people. But like you said last year i lost 60 pounds i'm not a dietitian so anybody's watching i'm not a doctor i'm not a dietitian so you know disclaimer there this is just my story and how i lost the weight and how i feel better every single day I, what i've done was is i cut out the carbs I, you could call it keto you call it carnivore there's a lot of things you can call it but the main thing is not drinking all those sodas you can't do it drive a truck drink your water drink plenty of water and eat healthy but when i say healthy I eat, I'll, I'll stop at having me a steak, but I'm not going to eat all the crap to go with it. If I don't meal prep and I'm out on the road, I try to cook and it, it, I enjoy my life having an air fryer, having a microwave. But even in that case, if you're stuck out on the road and you can't, you know, cook in your air fryer, go inside. If you're stuck at a Wendy's, go in, order your burger, throw away the bun, don't eat the fry, eat your five meats if you need to. It won't raise your sugar. Now, you might think, well, that's probably bad on your heart, but. When I went to my doctor, my doctor says, look, whatever you're doing, don't stop. <laughs> you know, uh, your your cholesterol might went up a little bit, but everything else is great. Your blood pressure, mm. you're not a diabetic no more. So keep doing what you're doing. So, you know, I, I got videos I put out every day about that, about you know, how I eat, how I cook on the road and, and, and things like that. That's what my channel is about. Oh, I love it. So, you know, all you mother truckers out there, man, it, it, if you're worried about uh, wanting to live longer, which I think <laughs> is important. I mean, uh, yeah. Trucking Life with Sean is doing the research. You know, it's safe to say that truck drivers as an occupation, uh, you live less long than other occupations. Sure. And so, you know, talk about that real quick as far as, um, so were you about this size? You're looking at good health right here. Were you about this size when you first started trucking? No, 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 no. And I still got a ways to go. I was 220 pounds when I started. And then I got up to 330 pounds. And I said, well, oh. something is that. Uh, and that was over, that was over a long period. That was over 15 years, you know, of not eating right and, and trying fad diets. You know, I'd go on a little bit of diet here, but every time I'd go on, I'd end up slipping back up. So I had to find a way and a research to find something that you enjoy eating and something you're going to do for the rest of your life. I mean, is it possible you're just going to, you know, just eat salad all your life? It's not, you know, it's, I mean, you might, you may be, but it's about up here what you can eat. So I found the food that I love. And what I did is I got me a sugar checker and I could scan my sugar and I would see what would go up and what would not. I realized I could eat bacon and I could eat 10 eggs in the morning and then my sugar wouldn't go up. But yet mm. I could get a McMuffin and my sugar go right high, way high because the, the, the sugars in the McMuffin or the biscuit. And I've realized, okay, well, shoot, I can't do that, but I can have a whole bowl of eggs. I'm full. And I was, I, I figured, hey, I can cook this on the road. I can make scrambled eggs. I can boil my eggs in the truck and I can eat fresh. But it took me going through the foods and everybody's body's different. So you have to test it yourself and see, but like, I can't drink Coca-Cola's no more. I can't, if I'm gonna sit on my butt, it's equivalently of sitting on a couch, except you're getting up and you're walking down the hallway peeing, if that, and then coming back in the couch and watching TV. That's what our jobs are. So every time you drink that soda, it's different than if you're drinking a soda and you're working out in construction. 
You don't have the liberty to all that over time is going to add up, but you can eat low carbon and stay full. I eat, I eat steak. I eat ham. I eat, you know, good foods, sweet potatoes, vegetables. I don't just do just carnivore, but I do foods that are going to be that I'm going to enjoy eating. You know what I mean? And I can yeah, cook yeah. right there in my truck and the money. Yes, my wife, I've saved so much money by not going in that truck stop. I mean, you know, Alex, I mean, a truck, you're going to get a Wendy's burger now, it's $13. Hey, you know, the, the inflation game is crazy now. I mean, OB, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear, I hear you on that. So, you know, one aspect is, you know, living and coming home to your loving family. You know, especially during this time of Christmas Eve and Christmas and New Year's around the corner. But the other side, tell me about this right here. You know, how how did that affect as far as your uh, DOT physical? Well, oh, yeah. See, it was it was rough. I mean, I got so borderline. I was so scared. I'd have to go on these quick diets real quick just to get me through. And then they had to give me a longer period. But so now I'm not worried about it. I, you know, I got a doctor's appointment uh, actually Tuesday. You know, I got a doctor's appointment Tuesday morning. And I'm excited to go to the doctor because I've lost <laughs> more weight. Like, you know, it's like my daughter's um, like, whatever. When I went in, I told her, she said, what are you even doing? I said, I've been eating all meat. She goes, oh, what do you mean? I said, I said, I don't know, but I think it's working. So she did my blood work. She said, Whatever you're doing, just don't stop. I said, okay. So nice. my fridge under my truck, I have ribeyes, I have steak, I have hamburger meat, then I have all my vegetables, but I don't have the chips. I don't have the candy bars. I don't have the honey buns. I don't have none of that. It's all real food, like real chicken breast. But the air fryer, air fryer is a game changer. Do you have an air fryer, Alex? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I mean, the game air fryer. changer for a truck driver. It saves you some time, though. That's the thing with the air fryer. I mean, and the, it, yes. It, if you don't know how to cook too, you start looking like a, a, a super chef because you can just throw yeah. some things in there, hit, yeah. hit the move button or hit the whatnot, and then right. Boom, I could right? be, I could be up some steak and throw it in there. I'm a trainer too, so when my trainees come with me. I trained at uh, Rosedale. I'm a trainer there, but uh, when my trainees come with me, they're like, "Man, we're so glad to come with you. I've been watching your channel. We're gonna eat good." I was like, "Dang right!" Did you know you could take a boiled egg and you could actually put them in the air fryer without no water? You know you can do that. You really? Put them, you take a real egg, stick it in yeah. there, no yeah. water. 270 degrees for 17 minutes you got the perfect boiled egg put it out put it in some ice spill it it's fresh to go there it is now nah, that driving down the road I, I tell you what for anyone that's going through you know and and i think this could hit a lot of people at different sizes but yeah you know as you get heavier i mean depression starts uh exactly. jumping in your mind you know you, you might not feel good you might not look good right and so there's a lot of things that come with that but um, i can tell you what your your energy it is definitely Thank beautiful. You. I mean, I can, Thank I can, you. I can hear it. I can feel it. And Thank so, you. you know, for people that want to watch your channel, especially about living a better uh, lifestyle, so they don't become diabetic, you know, and things like that, and obese, and other things with DOT physical. I mean, there's right. so many aspects of this yeah, so that can hurt so you many. on the trucking. So many. You know, wh what would you like to tell uh, the people out there that uh, are struggling right now? There is hope, but it all comes with your mindset. It comes with your mind. Don't listen to other people. Don't listen to, to what other people say you can and cannot do. And that's with anything in life. Alex, it's so important. If you want to set your goal, you set it and the heck with anybody else and then go for it. I really thought I was going to have to quit trucking. And then when I found this new trucking lifestyle that I'm doing, I'm so happy because I love driving a truck. And I've been driving for 16 years and had to give it up because either my life or that. Now, look, I'll just be honest. My mother had passed away in October and I had to come off the road last month for a month. My office let me come in there and let me work in the office. They actually made me a fleet administrator, but I, I wanted to drive a truck so much. I, I went to the BP and I said, look, I, I'm ready to go back on the truck. And he said, for real? He said, you'd rather do that than this? I said, you know, trucking's where I'm at. I'm out making videos. I help, you know, I help my trainees. And so he put me back on the road, but I realized it was harder for me driving to work every day passing by those all those places that I can get into so it took a lot more uh you know strength for me to say okay no to this when I'm in a truck what I got the truck is all I got so that's what right. I got to eat you know what I'm saying so if you buy the stuff then you, you you don't buy at home you know my I got kids I got honey buns over here <laughs> see like, all this stuff everywhere like it's Christmas you know there's Christmas cookies but in the truck I ain't no Christmas cookies in the truck so you right. can actually being a truck driver can actually help you you know lose the weight believe it or not 15 minutes a day, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta run a marathon, you ain't gotta have big weights. I have some resistant bands. It don't matter your size, your age. And I do videos on that also showing you little 15 minute workouts that you can do right there in the truck, whether it's rain, snowing, right there. It's a good thing you got a lot of people don't like their automatics. And I was a big manual guy too, but now that, that stick ain't there, I got more room. <laughs> so hey, I was like, you know, you know, 
Got hey, a little more work with what you got, you know, and make things. It's work. all about no, being positive. What you got, you know what I mean? Nah, your your energy. I mean, you can't feel like anything in life right now. I can I can feel that through here, right? Thank you, man. So, I appreciate that. Nah, hey, everybody, go out and follow Trucking Life with Sean. I mean, uh, this is awesome. You know, you you talked a a little bit in this interview, just talking about being a trainer as well. Yeah, you know, yeah. for right now. You know, people say rates are down. It's a lot of bad news bears all the time, but your energy is high right now. So we, oh, for anyone that wants to become a truck driver, I mean, what do they have to expect maybe on the company owners, uh, company side? Uh, again, a lot of people look into trucking. I know it's changed. It, it's not second, third, fourth, fifth generation of trucking anymore, but it's somebody that possibly might be working a job, uh, making 20, 25, $30,000 a year, you know, um, they're looking for more money, so they're looking into trucking for the first time. Yeah, trucking you know. is good. Trucking is good. The problem is, is the getting with the right company and getting with the right trainer. You yeah. know, they say that if you train 10 people out of a year, these are real statistics. You train as a trainer. If I could train eight people out of eight to ten most, but if you train, you could do eight in a year, and that's usually the average. Out of those eight, if you've got one truck driver still in the business, then you're doing good. I'm like, why is that? Mm. Last year I had 70% of my people stay. But I believe it's all about going in there and letting them know up front. Hey, there's things that, and I'm not bragging me, there's a lot of good trainers out there, but you want to do your research on the company you're going for, whether it's the company I work for or any, check their research out and look at, look at, talk to regular truck drivers, not just recruiters, talk to drivers that work there and find out, hey, what is it really like? What's going, you know, going on? I hear so many bad experiences, Alex, through my channel where people say how their trainer goes to sleep when they're driving or they don't prepare them for that. But that's something I believe that, that, the industry's at fault by putting new guys with trainers that just try to get the money and then go on. It's about being, I'm friends with all the people I've trained. I mean, they follow my channel. I'm still friends with them. It's about building that relationship and teaching them. Hey, look, there's going to be days. that's going to suck. You know, there's, it's not all about just making the money. You're going to, you're going to miss birthday parties. You're going to miss this and you got to get mentally prepared, but not just for the road. There's a lot to teach them, but what about having their wife prepared or their family, their kids prepared? So on my channel, I talk about all those other things that other truck drivers don't. Yeah, it's good to learn safety stuff. Believe me, I'm big sound safety, but you're not going to make it if you're if you're not if you're not mentally right. And that's why mm. I, I speak a lot about that being right, having your heart right, and having your relationship right at home. If not, you're not going to make it. It's just you're just not. And but, I think that's good advice because you know making good money is great. Right. And everybody's looking for it. But if day two that you're at OTR and your family's already missing you and you're missing them and, and you can't focus on anything else. Exactly. That will probably make you quit trucking way exactly. before the money. Exactly. So you got to be mentally, mentally, mentally prepared for that. And that's why I try to put out videos every day showing that for people that are thinking about getting into it or people that are already on to it. I also do a thing and this is a little different. I do trucking videos every day, but on Sundays at 10 a.m. on Eastern time, I do a show called Trucker Sunday. It's where I pull out the Bible and I have a church service, whether I'm at the truck stop, whether I'm at a rest area, whether wherever I'm at, even if I'm home like this morning, it was a short because it's Christmas Eve. But every morning at 10 a.m., I bring a little word. If you don't want to hear about God, then don't watch my channel Sunday morning. <laughs> throughout the week, we're talking trucking. But on Sunday morning, I do bring that little inspiration and bring that little word. And I believe that that helps. It helps me. It helps. Without God, I couldn't go. I couldn't make it a day without God. So I don't see how anybody can. So I want to make sure that I also shout out to my God up here ahead without him. We know we're nothing. So I uh, love that. Nah, man. Hey, it, it, you're full of positivity. I mean, some people, hey, there, there is a, always that 1%. You know, I'll be the first to tell you that uh, they'll be like, man, Sean's this happy. I hate him. You know, I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't stand a guy that's happy, right? I, I mean, that's, that's going to happen, right? But it's a, hey, uh, you got to stay you, right? And so I, I think this is great, man. I, I definitely co-signed for your channel. I've been Thank watching you, a couple videos and, and look at, I go a person talking about positivity. That's, that's something that we need more of. Thank right? you, sir. Um, so th that's great, man. And so let's, let's end this off. Let's send it with that viral video that everybody's been sharing about your videos oh, yeah. the last month. Uh, so what led you to ask DOT about personal conveyance and what have you learned such uh, thus far about this? <laughs> you learned that every reply, every law is going to be different. He learned in every state, like every time I get DOT, if I do get the, and I, when I'm training, sometimes, you know, might be once or twice a year. Sometimes I might go a whole year without it, but every time I stop or every time I say, Hey, I got the camera on. I was like, 
what do you know about PC? Because it's always different. <laughs> just like you said, they interpret that law so differently. But like, I love the way you did the video where you just say the basis. If you don't, can you don't have to use it? Don't use it because, like I said, it doesn't. Depends on a uh, you know who you get. It's a different answer, but PC is good to use if you use it right. But you better know how to use it and, and do it right because if not, they, they're going to throw some questions up. And every one of them different. Like the guy in Nebraska, we was going through Nebraska and uh, he did a DOT, and I had my camera on. I said, "Look, do you mind if I ask you some questions?" Because I like to know. And we did a lot of stuff, not just about PC. We asked about a thousand different questions. But he was saying, you know, he started talking about. I thought this was this was funny. He said, you know, at every ramp, he's what he said. He said every ramp. If you stop at a ramp, he said, you're going to get a ticket in Nebraska because in every exit, there's always a spot to park. And I thought, really, you're going to sit there and tell me that every exit, there's a place to park for a trucker, every exit. And you know, Alex, that's not true. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But that's what he said. He's like, if you park on a ramp, you're going to get a ticket. We're going to find you. And I said, well, if there's nowhere to park, he said, every exit has a park. Every exit always has a place for a truck. And he was just really misunderstood. It might be like that in that part of Nebraska, but. Trust me, it's not like that in Virginia. It's not like that in New Jersey. If you where you're from, Florida, it's not like that in Florida. No, no. So, like, <laughs> definitely not. so you know, I try to that, that video was um it was informative on some things and some things it wouldn't, you know. But every I get a mix every time I stop for the DOT officer, I get mixed things from them. And that's just the way it is these days. It's like they don't really know a whole lot about it. But I, I love when you put out you know your information about these and that's what we have to do is continue to put out the real truth and then put it out like you did in google and break it down so that way our drivers can be informed like oh, okay no that's not true this is true like if you run out of the shipper you're allowed to leave if you run out of hours during a shipper you're allowed to pc to the next location if you're getting loaded you run out that's a fact nothing can change that you know you're allowed to go you could go you know you're not allowed to move the load, the load forward i guess when you're not out of hours you can't go forward up the road uh, a lot of drivers think they could just drive 20 miles and then not go back to the same spot but like that guy was saying he did something interesting he said he said if you run out of hours you can always pc backwards i never mm. thought about that but you know that's true i could go 20 miles backwards and then i would have to come back 20 miles but if i could go backwards i'd probably seen a bunch of spots that way i would have already stopped <laughs> you know so i would have went backwards so pc is a very deadly thing if you're not careful if you get the wrong officer we just gotta get to be careful know the law when you do it that's all no, I love it. I love it. So how do, how would you like to send this video off uh, and so that, you know, you could let more truck drivers know, you know, to be more healthy, to drive more safe and to, uh, you know, possibly watch your channel more. Well, all you gotta do is go to my channel. It's called Trucking Life with Sean. I put out videos every day, every morning at 6 a.m., Monday through Friday. I do a, a podcast where we just talk about trucking. It's nothing special. It's kind of just a rambling session we do every morning, but it's building the community. So if I don't know the answer, somebody I do know, like I can call you now. Now I got your number, Alex. Or I just thousands of truck drivers, and it's it's not about the views for me. It's about building a community that's gonna help you succeed in trucking. And if you can succeed in trucking, you can see it in life. That helps our families. It helps our nation. It helps all of us. But we've come to a generation where we all seem entitled and everybody wants to cry on TikTok and about this and about that. Well, if you're going to be a YouTuber, why don't put some positive energy out there to help everybody instead of just fussing and making videos about, oh, this guy did this. And nothing against other channels because it all has its reasons. You know, there's channels out there without naming names that make fun of people, but they do it for an educational purpose. But let's try to help each other and let's try to, mm. To build a community that we can all get better we can all provide for our family because in the end it'll help everybody i also offer a mentorship on my channel if you join the membership you actually get my number um, now of course when it gets so big i won't be able to answer everybody's calls but right now i try to answer the emails and uh, for new drivers and i try to answer all my text messages and calls and and try to help guide them while i'm driving i've got a headset and heck, I got four, you know, 11 hours of driving. You call me and, I, and I'll talk to you. I'll help you with your logs. I'll try to help you with, I might even know where to park at. I know a lot of ins and out places that are legally parked. And if I don't know, I had somebody call me a day and they were in, uh, they were in uh, Georgia. And I'm like, man, I don't know where to park. I said, like, look, get off the next exit, go a mile right there on the left. They got truck parking. I had a guy call me a day in Nebraska. I didn't know. So I called a friend of mine from the, he told me, I told him he got parked. So the building that community, we can all help each other. And that's, that's what it's all about. Now it's, Hey, I love it. You know, so it, it sounds like if you need some positivity in your life, it <laughs> looks like it, if you're trying to lose some weight, right? Uh, and it looks like if you might just need a, a good positive friend to talk to, Trekking Life with Sean, man. Uh, I'll put links down in descriptions uh, down below and make sure you okay, follow man. my guy on YouTube and 
yeah, we'll take it and send it from there. I appreciate you, brother. Right. Hey, bro, no problem. Hey, when I, I give him the Florida lot, so you live in South Florida, right? Yes, sir. Just Maybe hit me up. You should be in Texas, and we'll go out to dinner or something. Sounds good, buddy.